Hi guys, I'm back with another book. Today I'm going to be reading a book about a little girl and her favorite blankie. Now I know that you guys have favorite blankies and stuffed animals at your house. Some of you have brought them into school, some of you have shared them at show and tell, and some of you have just told me about them. So here's what I'm thinking. I want you to go and pause this video run and get your favorite blankie or stuffed animal or baby doll, come back and hold on to it while I read you this next story. Today's story is called Geraldine's Blanket by Holly Keller. Here's Geraldine, she's a little pig, and here's her favorite blankie. Let's see what happens. Geraldine had a pink blanket. Aunt Bessie sent it when Geraldine was a little baby. And Mama put it in her crib. Even when she got bigger, Geraldine loved her blanket. She took it with her everywhere. Do you like to take your blankie or stuffed animal with you? You won't need your blanket at the market, Mama said. I will, Geraldine insisted, and she always found a use for it. Look, she's using it as a grocery bag to carry all of her fruits and veggies. When the blanket got dirty, Geraldine helped wash it. Do you ever stand in front of the washer or the dryer and wait for your blankie or your stuffed animal to get clean? My girls used to do that. When there were holes, Mama covered them with patches. And when the edges were all frayed, Mama trimmed them. But Geraldine only loved it more. There's hardly any blanket left, Papa said. He was getting cross. That means he was getting upset. I think he thinks Geraldine's too big for a blankie. What do you think? Are you ever too big for a blankie? I don't think so. Geraldine covered her ears. She didn't want to hear that. It looks silly, Mama said. Look how small it's gotten. Then don't look at me, Geraldine said, stamping her foot. Uh-oh. She's talking back a little bit, but she loves her blankie so much and she doesn't want to get rid of it. Mama tried to hide the blankie in the closet, but Geraldine found it right away. Uh-oh, she's making a bit of a mess here. She kept it pinned to her dress all day so nobody could take it and tucked it under her pillow at night to make sure it would be safe. Mama and Papa talked in whispers. And at Christmas, there was a new present from Aunt Bessie. Ooh, I wonder what it's gonna be. Do you think it's a new blankie? Or is she too old for a blankie? That's what her mom and dad are saying. The doll's name was Rosa, and Geraldine loved her. But I still want my blanket, she said. So she got a little stuffed animal from her Aunt Bessie. Do you think she's gonna give up her blankie now that she has a new stuffed animal? She still wants her blankie, she said. No, Papa said. No, Mama agreed. Uh-oh, they're gonna make her get rid of her blankie. Geraldine knew what to do. Oh, she went and got some scissors. Oh, she's cutting her blanket. There's her new doll. Hmm, what do you think she's doing with her blankie? There, she said when she had finished. Oh, look at that. She made a little dress out of her blankie. Now Rosa has the blanket and I have Rosa. That was very clever. She's a smart little girl. Mama didn't know what to say. Papa scratched his head and Geraldine took Rosa out to play. And there they go, Geraldine, Rosa, and the blankie. That is now a dress. I don't think anyone is ever too old for a blankie 
or a favorite stuffed animal. What do you think? Thanks for letting me read to you, friends. I will see you again soon.